Mercedes is in the middle of reshaping its identity by building a bunch of electric vehicles that kind of look like lima beans on the road. And while that's happening, it's a bit ironic to me that the brand's most iconic vehicle is an off-roading monster that's still shaped like an apartment building on wheels. But we love it because it's a G-Wagon. This is our first look at the 2025 Mercedes G-Class. Let's get into it. So at first glance, this still definitely looks like a G-Wagon, but I promise you there are changes inside and out. Let's go through them. Now, obviously people buy this car for one specific reason. It looks awesome. And guess what? The new one does as well. The tweaks are actually mostly in the front of the vehicle. I got to say, this is a European model, but the good news is the giant bull bar, that really aggressive front end is still going to be standard kit in the US. There are some slight tweaks to the bumper and the front grille as well. I think it looks really elegant, just a nice subtle adaptation from what G-Wagons already are on the road. Something down here too, there's a new and improved camera system that gives you a much better view when you're off-roading. That was something they're really excited about that even with the giant bull bar on the front, you still get a good view while off-roading. The color, this is a brand new shade of blue. That's actually where I should stop and say that there are many, many more ways that you can have an individualized G-Wagon. They took it and ran with it knowing that customers absolutely loved it. So new exterior colors, new interior colors, a bunch of different ways to make your car yours. So it's not all that often that we focus this much on an A pillar, but I'm doing so for a very specific reason. This is now much more aerodynamic. So Mercedes spent a bunch of time focus on the A pillar in conjunction with a new spoiler up here on the top lid. It's going to improve the car by about 20% when it comes to aerodynamics overall. That's going to improve wind noise inside of the cabin to keep things nice and calm. It's also going to make it a little bit more fuel efficient. Let's take a quick spin around the G63 model. This one in a very subtle shade of blue. This is one of the exclusive AMG colors and people are gonna know you're coming. Don't worry about that. Just like on the G550, we do have some changes up front as well. Down here, this actually caught my attention. The intakes are now vertical, which draws your attention lower on the vehicle. And I think when you get the giant bull bar, like we will in the US, it's gonna look really tough. The side of the car has these nice looking 22 inch wheels on a more street oriented tire. I don't know if you can see back over there, there's an off-road version of the G63. That's a completely different kit, different setup. This one you wanna keep on the street majority of the time, that one you wanna get dirty with. This detail right here, this has an extended carbon fiber package. It is all over the vehicle. It's on the front, it's here on the side. Come around with me because there's a special treat at the very back, yes your entire spare tire cover is done in carbon fiber. That is awesome. So the current lineup of G-Wagons is V8 only, but that is about to change for two reasons. One, there's a new electric version that's coming soon, but also the G550 is now powered by a three liter inline six cylinder. So that's a big change. The good news is that this does have more horsepower. This is up by about 30 horsepower compared to the current V8 in the G550. You're now looking at about 443 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque. It's also gonna be more efficient than the V8. So that's a good thing for customers, but I have to say a V8 seems like a pretty integral thing with the G-Class right now and customers do love it. So I believe that at some point in time, the current G550 will be worth more in the long run because of the V8 under the hood. But don't worry, there's still a V8 for you to have. Don't freak out. It's right here in the G63. It is still a super strong twin turbo four liter V8, making the very same 577 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque. This is still a fast flying brick and the most insane way to get your G-Wagon. Even with fewer cylinders, the G550 should be an absolute animal off-road. Mercedes says that it can climb a 100% grade on the right surface, and it has 9.5 inches of ground clearance between the axles. But it's the G63 that gets the real big improvements. The new AMG Active Ride Control is the most sophisticated suspension ever put on a G-Wagon. This includes active roll stabilization, which combats body roll in the corners. This should be a massive improvement both for driving dynamics and for comfort because the new multi-stage dampers mean a much greater range of adjustments. So before we step inside, I had to point out something. It seems like a small detail, but it is going to be a big detail for those of you who own a current G-Wagon that want to upgrade to the new one. For the very first time, it gets keyless go. So yes, now you can keep your key in your pocket and approach the car. You can lock and unlock it. 
without having to take the key out of your pocket. Small change, but a big deal. So the current G-Wagon uses a version of Mercedes infotainment called Command, and that dates back all the way to the early 2000s. The latest version is called MBUX. That actually debuted back in 2018. And since then, a G-Wagon has never used it until right now, just eight years late to the party or so. Now, Mercedes can get kind of confusing when it comes to all their different infotainment and screens. You have the giant vertical screen that's in the S-Class, the massive hyper screen, in the EQS. We don't get either of those here. We have actually kind of a similar layout to before with two horizontal screens side by side, but the experience is going to be much better with MBUX. This is an area that we used to gripe over the G-Wagon because it just didn't live up to the rest of the things we love about this car. Now you get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, the in-car assistant, and a bunch of other things that are gonna make this feel much more modern. So the new G-Class keeps in line with its long-standing tradition of only changing a little bit. The tech upgrade should be a real improvement, along with the active ride control in the G63. Now, not everyone will love the inline six replacing the V8 in the G550, but more power and efficiency is a hard thing to complain about. What do you think about the new G-Class? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.